I had two people comment and ask me about how I process my color film, and that's enough for me to do whatever video you want me to do. So comment below what the video you want to do is next. Now I'm not an expert, I'll link a video below as to where I learned this from, but this is basically how I develop my film. First we gotta get uh, our film on the roll, let me show you that. Okay, so first this is a dark bag. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be putting my film in to keep it light sealed. Uh, then we have our developing tank film reel, so this goes in here like this, lock this on, and this is what's going to keep the film light sealed in here, I'll show you that in a second. Here's a roll of film that I messed up, so I'm going to show you how we're going to get this onto in here. So in theory, you would have all your stuff in the dark bag and you would be doing this in the dark, but I'll show you how to do it in the light since I messed this one up. So the first thing you got to do is peel this thing back and you just kind of peel it with your fingers like that. It's where you get it to open up like that. And you pull this little guy out here. See how it's got this little tail? I'm gonna cut that little tail off. Take one of our film spools. You can feel these little things with the ball bearings back here. Now what I found easiest is I put it in at the little 45s right there. And when I'm in the dark bag, I'll pull it to the ball bearings. And then I'll start winding it on. And what I'll do is I'll pull this out and I'll wind it on. Cut it as far down as I can. Wind it on all the way. And then, okay, once your film is on the reel, put it on the stick, put it in your thing to it, put this on, turn this, it locks in there. Then you can pull it out of the dark and start developing. Now I'm gonna take these two rolls and do it for real. Okay, got it all loaded in here. That's, this is honestly the hardest part is loading the canister. I put two in here, don't know how to do it on the first one, second one was perfect. All right, to developing. Okay, here are our chemicals. First one we need is developer, and we need to heat this up to 102 degrees. And behind that we have Blix, and it needs to be plus or minus 10 degrees. So what I want to do is get it to about 106 degrees, somewhere in there, and then I want to let it fall down to 102, because it has to be specifically 102 degrees before I pull it, put it in my tank. All right, well that's heating up. I need to wash the film. Put it in here. I try to get it close to 102 degrees so the film is already warmed up when the time I put the chemicals in there. But all I gotta do, is switch this around and dump it out a couple times. When that gets down to exactly 102, I need to start the process. All right, we're at 103 degrees. Once it gets down to 102, I'm gonna start dumping it in. Start a timer. I'm gonna agitate for the first 15 seconds. Then after that, agitate for five seconds every 30 seconds for three minutes and 30 seconds. <sighs> Did that make sense to you? Was that, is that good? Okay, now we need to do the same thing with Blix. This is 105-ish degrees right now, which is good because it needs to be within 10 degrees. I'm just gonna dump it in, agitate for the first 15 seconds, then agitate for five seconds every 30 seconds. Alright, now I need to watch the film for about three minutes. Okay, last thing on the agenda is stabilizer, room temperature, dump it in, agitate for about a minute. Alright, I'm gonna do one water wash because I don't have a squeegee yet. Just to get a little bit of extra stabilizer off. And here are our rolls. And I. They're brown. They're good. 
One of these is a mystery film too. All right, let's hang them up. All right, I got the film hanging in my bathroom to dry. We'll come back to that in a few hours. Okay, film is dry. I'm gonna start cutting it up six frames at a time and we'll meet back because I can't cut and film at the same time. Okay, once I cut up my negatives, I put them in this little jig they give and I put it in the printer. It lines up with those dots right there. And I hit preview scan and it scans it. And there we go. The whole scanning process takes a while because it has to like precisionly scan these little negatives and it just takes a while. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put links below if you want to do this for yourself. Uh, better videos with better instructions on how to scan and film. Thank you so much for watching. Love you so much. Oh, and comment uh, what other video you want me to do because I'll do it, obviously. Bye. <clears throat>